Rockstar Games tells us to be patient when it comes to Grand Theft Auto 6 and getting more news. We'll be talking about what happened and a whole lot more all in this video today. So over the last couple of days, it's been pretty wild. We actually heard from Take-Two Interactive that Grand Theft Auto 6 is now going to be coming in fall 2025, which essentially allows us to narrow it down to about three months, the end of September to the end of December. And what was weird about that is we didn't hear from Rockstar Games at all, which is pretty untraditional. We usually only hear from Rockstar when it comes to major announcements like that, but instead, this one came from their parent company, Take-Two Interactive, and it followed with a handful of different comments to various media outlets, interviews that we covered on national television, all of those things we've talked about in previous videos, but essentially, they're all extremely positive on the 2025 release date happening in fall, and they're highly confident that it's going to be just an absolute amazing game. But other than the release date and other than their level of confidence, they didn't essentially really tell us much. And so naturally, GTA 6 fans are getting a little bit impatient. Since the first trailer came out in December, it's really been about half a year of silence from Rockstar. They haven't told us anything, and the most we've been able to get is from their parent company, literally Take-Two Interactive. And as you guys know, GTA 6 fans are incredibly passionate and sometimes they will reach out to Rockstar Games employees on social media, which if you are going to reach out to an employee of Rockstar Games, if they do have social media accounts, please be respectful and courteous like you would to anyone else. However, we do know that sometimes that passion can spill over and apparently one Rockstar Games employee, Terrence, had actually just had enough of it. And in case you guys are wondering who he is, Terrence is a designer at Rockstar Games in New York, New York, and he has actually worked as a production designer for over two full years, about two and a half years right now since 2022 at Rockstar Games full time. So needless to say, he's been involved in the Grand Theft Auto 6 production cycle for quite some time now, and he actually kind of snapped back. This was posted a few weeks ago, but it was actually just found by Grand Theft Auto fans posting, let our teams cook with sort of this like shrugged shoulders in the air emoji. You can see when that was at 3.14 p.m. Uh, on May 8th, 2024. And someone said they dropped the GTA trailer and said, F us, shake my head. With Terrence said, our teams are back in the office and cooking with sort of like a steam coming out of the nostrils emoji. And he ended up removing the post as that same individual said, say no more. I'm still hyped, LMAO, and this is pretty rare. Rockstar Games employees typically don't comment on things going on behind closed doors, but it sounds like, to no one's surprise, Rockstar Games is hard at work here, and even though we got the very first trailer, there's still a lot of things to be done, and maybe that's why we haven't heard from Rockstar Games just quite yet, and maybe that's why there was this internal delay, and now we are seeing a fall 2025 release date happening instead of a early or summer 2025 release date. Now, I think it works out for all parties because I think Rockstar and Take-Two Interactive are thrilled to have it releasing closer to the holidays and the fact that there will be more consoles out in the marketplace so that you can have more people actually play the game. It sounds like it's a win-win situation for everyone except for impatient fans like us that just want to get our hands on the game as soon as possible. And I think one of the biggest frustrations is that we just haven't heard from Rockstar Games. I think a lot of fans simply would be happy with something along the lines of this. This is kind of like a concept newswire. Grand Theft Auto 6 is coming fall 2025. You can see when it roughly would have been posted. Dear all, we are excited to announce that Grand Theft Auto 6 is now set to launch fall 2025. We apologize to everyone disappointed by this delay, even though there was no external delay. This would have been just the first official time they were announcing at what period it was coming out. While we had hoped to have the game out sooner, we require a little extra time for polish. We sincerely thank you for your patience and hope that when you get to play the game, you will agree the wait will have been worth it. We look forward to sharing a lot more information with you in the coming weeks. With thanks, Rockstar Games. That would have taken everyone's impatience and thrown it out the window because we sincerely haven't even heard from them at all. I don't know why Rockstar is continuing to remain 
radio silent by just giving Take Two Interactive the uh, you know sort of release window of when it's going to be coming out. But I would anticipate that hopefully sometime in the next couple of weeks or months, especially as we gear up towards the summer and with a big GTA Online DLC on the way, the Rockstar would utilize that opportunity to talk about Grand Theft Auto 6, get people excited again about GTA Online, sort of utilize some cross promotion. It honestly is a perfect opportunity for them to do something like this. And again, you can see why fans are frustrated here. Just take a look at the Rockstar Games release timeline, really since Grand Theft Auto V has come out. Now, that doesn't include GTA V being re-released in 2014 for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, nor does it include the PC version in 2015, and it doesn't include the PC version of Red Dead Redemption 2 or the countless DLCs that Rockstar provided in the following months. But still, you can see the absolute massive gap there of nothing happening between really when Rockstar released Grand Theft Auto 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2 and GTA 5 coming out in fall 2025. Hopefully this means the game is going to be absolutely spectacular. But honestly, you can understand fans' frustrations as I'm sure they just want to hear from their favorite game developer, Rockstar Games. And hopefully the timeline will start to look something like this really over the next couple of weeks. Like I said, they gave us that first official reference that it was in development in February 2022. The first trailer coming out December 5th, 2023. Now, this is all just predictions, but maybe on July 11th, 2024, we get some first screenshots for the game. November 19th, possibly a second trailer, which would provide more information about the protagonist and possibly even giving us a firm release date. Then in March 2025, we might be able to pre-order the game. June, we would get further trailers. July, we would get a first gameplay trailer. October 8th, 2025, maybe a second gameplay trailer. You can see how as it gets closer to release, things really start to ramp up. And then this little prediction has a release date of November 26, 2025 as the release date for Grand Theft Auto 6. Now, I don't know about that. That seems pretty close to a US holiday Thanksgiving that happens in November every single year. So I don't know if Rockstar Games would release GTA 6 the day before Thanksgiving. That just seems like a recipe for disaster. But looking at this timeline as well, you can see that Grand Theft Auto Online for GTA 6 doesn't launch until a couple of months later in 2026. I honestly hope they do that because it would just give us so much time to explore the single player before forcing ourselves to jump into online. I like what Rockstar did with GTA 5, and I like what they did with Red Dead Redemption 2, how they kind of made us wait a couple of weeks or months before getting into the multiplayer. And then this little calendar has about a year later on December 15th, 2026, the game coming out on PC. So maybe a timeline like that will make sense. I honestly just hope we hear from Rockstar Games soon because fans are starting to get impatient relying on interviews from executives and CEO like Take-Two Interactive, Straw Selnick. Uh, we want to hear from Rockstar Games here, and we want to uh, see some more from this amazing title that we're all looking forward to. But let me know what you think in those comments down below on everything we discussed in this video today about Rockstar Games essentially telling us to be patient, let our teams cook, and what do you think the timeline is going to look like for the game launching, and when do you think we'll hear from them next? I'd love to hear from you in those comments down below, so let me know what you're thinking down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome, and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the GTA 6 videos that I'll be doing here on my channel, and be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.